Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about advanced search and what's new here. So you have probably already known this button here on the right. So I've opened in the sidebar search and here's the search bar where you can use the new search features. But there has been always the settings button here on the right. And here you could restrict the search to just notes if you turn them off here in this case, or you just you kept calendar. And by default, it always searches in your regular notes. But here you could restrict the search so it doesn't show you the calendar results at the top and the regular note results disappeared basically at the bottom. So that's why we have added it here. Uh, what's new is there's also a, a button to the documentation. Uh, explaining to you how you can use the more advanced features directly here in the search bar because you can use uh, you can restrict now or fil use filters also in the search bar which you can use uh, the same ones which you can use here and the same ones which you can use here in the filters in general filters feature so what I mean by this is you can uh, filter by the task status for example uh, keyword was always working under heading or yeah, you can filter it by which heading the task is under, uh, the path if you have a specific folder or node, um, if it should be from reminders, lists, regular nodes, and so on. So I think it's easier if we just switch over to the documentation, which you can open through here, or you go to help.noplan.co and search for advanced search. So here's also a short video explaining you how it works, but let's jump right in. Um, I'll explain to you how the search operators work through this documentation because it's uh, easy as an overview. So what was working before is wall words or exact matches by using quotes. Like if you have words like sunlight, but you just want to have sun, you quote it and you get only um, results with the word sun and not sunlight because it searches also in between the words and tries to match as much as possible. So, and then we also had exclusions, uh, a popular use case is if you want to exclude a specific tag, like a task can be pending, but it should not be waiting, for example. So, but, uh, and the and was always implicit. So if you use a space like project report, Space means the line should contain project and report. And what's new is you can use also or now. So you can say meeting or meetup and it will re return the lines from uh, the nodes uh, which contain meeting or meetup. It doesn't have to contain both, but one of those words. Works also with tags, of course. And uh, another new feature is that you can use parentheses. So to group these logical blocks, like it should contain meeting, and remember space means and, meeting and work or meetup. So it returns all lines that have meeting and they can contain either work or meetup. So that's uh, that way you find both. Or you want to have um, tasks that are tagged with to do and they have urgent or high. And maybe you have used both uh, and you don't know which one you used or you used, you just mix them up in general. It could also be that you have important, high, urgent, and then it doesn't matter really because you can combine it with or now. Uh, also you combine, you can also use multiple, uh, groups and you can, can go also really crazy, uh, by combining various, uh, or nesting various, uh, logical blocks. And you can see a couple of examples here, but it goes uh, usually much deeper than you need, but it's available. I think most people will, uh, for for most people, just or is enough and also exclusions are very useful if you use tags. Using search operators. So this is one of the bigger new features. And what I meant by you can use anything that's available for filters and more uh, inside this search bar now. And how can you can do this with the operators? So, and here it's uh, nicely grouped. So you, we have, for example, sources. That's with what you begin usually. So you can uh, define from where you want to, uh, the tasks to come out to search for. And uh, by default, it's all. But if you just want to have the calendar notes, for example, 
uh, or calendar tasks. It counts actually scheduled tasks from regular nodes as well. You say sources calendar. If you just want to have regular nodes, no calendar nodes, you say source nodes, and you can do the same for events, reminders, and these are dated reminders. So they have a date attached to them. If you want all reminders, you just say list dash reminders. So this gives you all reminders grouped by the list name, and these reminders are grouped by date. And then uh, as a special source, you can also have dated nodes. Uh, these are tasks which are inside the regular nodes, but are scheduled to a specific day. So these are dated nodes, and that's what I meant. Calendar has both of them. Uh, so not just the tasks inside daily nodes, but also the tasks that are coming from the regular nodes and have a date. And you can combine sources uh, by comma. So one thing you, you should notice, you, if you write this, you should write a uh, source or the operator and then the colon and then the value without any spaces because space means something new is coming or it's an AND operator. And uh, so this is source operators. Then you have the same for task status. You can decide if it's open, done, scheduled, canceled, or it should not be a task. Uh, is if you use this as an operator, you also need to supply some search keyword. Otherwise, it would return everything which is inside the nodes. And it doesn't do this to, uh, otherwise it wouldn't be too useful. So you also have to supply some keyword, um, not just the operator itself. With the others, it doesn't matter. And what's not possible inside the filters, in general filters feature, but here inside the search operators, you can also filter for checklists. So not just regular tasks, but you can also um, specify a checklist operator, like regular open checklist, done, scheduled, and canceled as well. And then we come to the date operators. So this is the same feature which you have in filters under time frame, basically. So you can recognize the names here, but there is an extra in the for the search operators here. And I will show you how it looks like in the user interface as well but let's go through the documentation first. So you see here is today, yesterday, tomorrow, past, future, and so on, up to 30 days and all. Basically, if you don't define anything, it's all. And what's extra is you can define also specific dates uh, using the ISO format, and not just dates, also weeks, months, quarters, and years. And not just a specific date, but also a complete range. So you can say from this day to this day with a dash in between. So you take the year, month, day, another dash, another year, month, day. Same works with weeks. So you can also define the start week and the end week. So it's including the end week, which you define here. And the same with months. So this is from June to July, both together. So June and July are included into this time frame and quarters and complete years also works. Here are also a couple of examples, how you can use them together. So if you, as I mentioned, if you want to combine a specific operator, you can use it with comma uh, after the colon. And um, if multiple operators like source and date, they are separated by a space. And after this, you can use the regular uh, keyword, what you want to search, if you want to search anything specific. And um, further, you can also define a path, which I will show you, uh, to a specific folder or node. So it only looks at the tasks or also bullet points, checklists, and so on inside this folder or node. And if your folder name has spaces, you need to use quotes. So you wrap it into quotes. So otherwise, as I mentioned, uh, if you use space, it means something new is coming. And the same with heading. So uh, in the filters, we also had under heading. And you can use the same uh, in the search operators. It's just called heading in this case. And if it, the heading name has spaces, you also wrap it into quotes. And then you can sort it if uh, the the tasks are grouped by date. So in, in these search operators, no plan groups them automatically usually by date if you search uh, for example the calendar so the calendar results or also reminders uh, dated reminders and events they're all grouped automatically by date 
and you can define the search ascending and descending uh, using the sort operator. Uh, this is uh, what you have seen here maybe called past to future and future to past. So we have renamed it here to ascending and descending. So ascending is from past to future. So the dates in the past come first and then the dates in the future uh, further below. And at the bottom, you can see a couple of examples how you can use them together in one uh, query. And some notes, which I have already mentioned, like don't use any spaces here. Uh, if you want to escape something, so if you want to literally search for one of those operator in your notes, you can use the backslash to escape it. So let's have a look. For example, uh, you can like rebuild the regular calendar filters here. You, so you say in source calendar and then is open to show all, all the open tasks and you can say date this month. So if you want to show uh, these months uh, open tasks or you say 2015 and then July, I want to see all my open tasks from July, which I didn't finish like the overdue tasks, but you don't want to see all overdue tasks till the end of time. <laughs> you want to see only this month or this year or this week. Uh, and the, um, or you say past, then it will give you all of them. So this is the regular overdue filter basically. And so, uh, or you say past, future, these are the simple feature, uh, filter features or filters, which are also by default are shipping with the filters here. Um, but here you can just type them out. You don't need to click around in the user interface and save them and so on. You can just type them out here if you um, prefer more to use the keyboard. And let's uh, have some more examples uh, using path ECMI as an example folder. And here you see we have the open tasks, the scheduled tasks, completed, canceled, and you can say is open. Just get the open tasks, canceled, scheduled, so on. And then uh, the example of is not tasks. So it doesn't show me anything here because it requires some keyword like ETA, for example. So I have a couple of bullet points, as you can see. Then it returns the bullet points with ETA, but also headings. It returns anything that contains um, that search keyword. That's why it requires a keyword here. Otherwise it would just return the complete content of all nodes, which is not very useful. And then we can also say something like, um, heading. Let's figure out some heading, which you want to try. So I open the Apollo launch node and let's, uh, let's use scope for example, and then we get anything below, uh, scope. Let's say it should just show me the open tasks. Okay. And, and, uh, like in the filter feature, if you click on it, it will open them, but you can right click and edit as well. And now you can, uh, change anything inside. You can schedule it here and do, uh, whatever you want to do, whatever you can do also inside the node, but, uh, you don't have to switch out of this view. So you just can click anywhere and we'll close this. Here we have an example with spaces. So let's try that. So here I have to use quotes and then it also works. So it just shows this task. Why? Because these are all scheduled. Uh, these are not open. They don't, um, no plan doesn't consider them as open. It considers them as scheduled in this case. So we can remove this and then it shows me all of them. All we just say is open and scheduled. Then it shows me also both. So this is how the filters work. And I've already shown you how they work with the, with the calendar nodes, how they work with, how they work with regular nodes. Let's also have a look at some examples using or. So let's say, um, we take this meeting example here. I keep ECMI so we don't have too many results. So meeting. So here we have uh, this line with meeting. There's another one with meeting and meetup. There's another one meetup, work and meeting and another work and meeting. So various combinations. So now we can uh, take actually this example. We want meeting and we want work or meetup. So meeting, work or meetup. 
Now it's just these three lines and you can see uh, it highlighted here, which it could find. So it needs to have a meeting and it should have work or meetup. So this has meetup, this has both work and meetup, and this has just work. So if we remove this, you notice it, um, it's filtered out, I think this one here at the top. This doesn't have meetup, nor does it have work inside it. So this is just an example how you can use this. Um, or we want to have, say, just the one with work or meetup. So this would do something similar in this case, so work or meetup. And but it returns also some of the other nodes. For example, here workflow. Oh, this is a nice uh, example where you can use uh, quotes for the exact match or wall word. So uh, we don't want workflow. We want to have work. So we can use work to return just this one. It should have work or meetup. So just a couple of more examples, and um, this makes you a little bit faster because if you have this more or less in your head how you how to define this and it's not too complicated path and source and so on and is open, uh, I think it's easy to remember. But in the future versions, we, we will also add. Or we are thinking about adding a kind of drop down where you can actually see all the blocks and you don't have to go to the documentation every time. So I hope this was useful and it's a small or a big but hidden feature in, in this. So it doesn't add any new buttons, except the help button, maybe. Um, but uh, it gives you much more power to use no plan. And it gives actually two new features, which is filtering for checklists and also filtering for specific dates or timeframes, which was not available before. So I hope you enjoy this new feature and let me know about your feedback. Thanks for watching.